What do you think the chances of uh, running are? Ooh. Soup. Oh, I don't even want to touch it, dude. What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And Isaac here just paid $20 for a mini bike. He actually saved it from the Crusher. So in today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are gonna get the Crusher mini bike running and riding. It's really rough right now. The engine is stuck, the tires are flat. It looks like a $20 mini bike. Or less. Yeah, so <laughs> tell us how you got it, man. All right, so I'm uh, driving down the road, you see, and cruising along 55, 56 miles per hour, you know, speed limit. Of course. And uh, <laughs> I made an oncoming truck, and he has the biggest load of riding lawnmowers I've ever seen on the back of a trailer. It was over the top of the truck. And right on the back, I see this thing strapped to the back of the trailer, and apparently it was like the last thing they had picked up. And I spun my truck around. I, I've already figured out where they're going. And uh, I passed them went to the crusher and i waited for them <laughs> sure enough they came whipping on into the uh recycle place and i stopped him and i was like hey man take 20 dollars for that mini bike and he was like i'll take 25 and i was like all i got is 20. he's like all right and i'm like yeah so here we are yeah the 20 dollar crusher mini bike it's a shame it's not yellow i know it's a baja warrior right it's a Baja Warrior. So it's a mini bike that you would have bought at like Tractor Supply maybe five or ten years ago. Yeah, this is the earlier uh, Baja with the, uh, yeah, the way it's made. The metal tank, the metal faux tank. Faux tank. Yes, and a 196cc overhead valve engine. So the tires are flat, like I mentioned. Uh, there's no clutch on it. Um, it needs a lot of help. The engine is stuck. So we have some parts from GoPowerSports.com. We're going to be putting on this mini bike today, like a new clutch. We might even do a stage one performance kit. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this thing running again. Hope so. It's stuck. It's been raining right down the fuel tank and the carburetor for I don't know how many years. It, it looks like it's been quite a few. Two minutes into this project and already neither of these bolts were tight. This one was missing completely. And uh, yeah, their exhaust, their custom exhaust they made is lets rain go right down into the exhaust port there. So not not ideal for, you know, no. longevity. But we are going to show you it'll be fine. I hope so. This needs to get flipped around so our pull cover faces up. But we're just going to take it off for now. Here we were thinking we were just going to take the spark plug out. Put some PB blaster in there, let it soak a little bit, and try to turn it over. There's no spark plug in there. Not looking good for the old 196. Oh, she is crusty in there. There's a sticker that says quality on it. That's all I need to know. Ah! That's a terrible sign. I, it, it might be alright. Dude, <laughs> the flap is gone in the carpet. Ah! Oh, oh. I mean, it might be alright. Oh my. <laughs> You've outdone yourself this time, man. You have found a real... <laughs> that didn't sound good. <laughs> A real Jim Dandy. I think diamond in the rough is the technical term here. All right, so I'm just going to, man, I was wanting to do everything with the engine on the bike, but it kind of looks like I might have to take it loose. Now, if this was like a customer's engine, I would definitely try to cover my own butt and say, dude, you need a new engine. Uh, but, you know, for some people that don't have a hundred dollars for a new Predator engine, you know, maybe, maybe this is the best way to go. 
Or, you know, you'd just rather save the hundred and put a billet rod in it or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, why throw it out if it's... Exactly. If it still works. Exactly. If it still works. With a little bit of money in my pocket, I'd be going and buying a, uh, either a Predator 212 or if I wanted something really awesome, this thing would fly with the Tillotson 225 on it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Ooh. This thing is that full of water. Oh. <laughs> Look. That is awesome. That is so bad. Oh man, if we could get this thing running, it'll be epic. Yeah. I don't think there's any oil in it. Hey man, I'm gonna go change the water on my bike. <laughs> what do you think the chances of uh, running are? I'm gonna say... Uh... 28%. Oh, please. That's that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I would have thought it, that there would be more than that since, uh, you know, we were was in... Whoa, whoa! Is your chair falling apart? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we just yanking the head off, huh? We're gonna yank the head off, man. After you, uh, fix your chair. After I fix my chair. I love this chair, man. Alright. You smell it now? Yeah, it's horrible. It smells like old, old, old oil. And you know, we should have some straps holding this motorcycle, mini bike, to the uh, lift here, but. The bottom of the frame is really flat and, you know. I'm just gonna be careful. Careful, that's right. And it's not like we're gonna really hurt it, are we? <laughs> yeah, it's <a> <laughs> Not point. any worse than it is. Although, you know, we could hurt ourselves, so yeah. You wanna shoot some garage door lube down the, uh, the, the cable here? You can try. Yeah, I'll try. It'd be nice if we could bring it back to life. Doesn't hurt. What happened, man? What happened? I don't know. Uh, you know, we don't even know if this thing was locked up because of the rain or if it locked up because they bypassed the governor, dude. So we're taking our throttle linkage apart here and notice that there's an extra arm there, which uh, means the previous owner bypassed the governor. So they could have locked up the engine and then parked it. Yeah. Last head bolt. Yes, sir. And like you said, she is a beaut. So guys, the easiest thing to do is probably take the engine off. I'm just trying to do it just because. Ooh. Soup. Oh, I don't even want to touch it, dude. You got a flashlight? Yeah. Oh my. All right, so we're taking the fender off so we can gain access to the piston with a stick with a stick and a hammer. Wow. Ow! The nut is so hot. So does this mean we need to go searching in the wood for, woods for a stick? I think we need to dig some of that stuff out. Yeah. And then, and then we'll get the stick. Sweet. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about messing up. This kid going into the cooling vents. Oh, that's so crusty. This is not ideal at all, dude. Yeah, no kidding. Tell me if you see some movement. I think it's moving. It's moving, man. Yeah. Dude, put 
Put her there, man. We ain't done yet, I man. Know, but that's but. something. It's something. We're getting there, man. It's just taking a while. Oh, yeah. We're making progress. You're right there, man. I'm getting there. 20 minutes in, right? At least. I made a full revolution. Oh, man. I missed it. Hey, look at that, man. That is awesome. Let's see what happens. Yeah. The big hole there, but we'll take what we can get. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty bad. That thing's ready to ride, bro. <laughs> it's pretty bad. She's gonna be a smoker for real, dude. Let's see if we have any spark. Look at that. Oh, it has spark. That's awesome. All right, dude. So, we ready to throw the head back on and put a new carburetor on it? Uh, well, we have to uh, get the head unstuck first. The valves are sticking. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, did you ever find that keep that I think fell out? No, I'm guessing it's under there somewhere. Okay. All right, dude, I'm just going to take the valves out. i got to get this other keep out of the way. Oh, man, it's moving. There we go. All right, and I'm going to take the valves out because they are sticking. All right, now i got to remember, the exhaust is pointing that way. So this valve is going to be... Oh, she is stuck. And this is like the most janky thing I've done prying on the valve like this. You're not supposed to pry on valves. Yeah, no, no prying on valves. No prying on valves. All right, guys, we got the uh, head pretty much cleaned up and we cleaned up the valves with a wire wheel. Now we're gonna lap the valves. I'm gonna show you how to lap the valves. Not quite the correct way, but close enough. Sounds good. <laughs> you don't want to install the valves dry. And uh, this thing threw enough oil earlier that I can grab as much as I want off the frame. Yeah. And put them on the valve stems. So it's not dry. So let's uh, work on lapping the valves. I've got some valve lapping compound here. I got coarse and fine. And the correct way of doing this is, uh, depending on what kind of shape it's in, I'm gonna be using the coarse. You put a little bit of this on the surface, the mating surface of the valve, the sealing surface on the valve. Face. Don't get it on the valve stem. Get it on the valve face. And there's a specific tool that you're supposed to use that I don't have. Um, and it will allow you to uh, hand. It's like I got a suction cup and a, on a stick, and just work it back and forth, back and forth, up and down. Turn it, work it, turn it, work it, etc. I have this handy, like, drill with a chuck on the end. I'm gonna grab the end. All right. Now I'm gonna turn it. You hear it? You hear it grinding? Yep. You're basically making a new ceiling surface. Well, I'm 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 kind of bedding it in more like it. Right. Because I know that it got damaged from all the water. I'm gonna work it back and forth, in and out. And same with the exhaust valve. Same with both. And we should have a nice ceiling surface. Nice shiny line the whole way around. So we're pretty good, dude. It's gonna run like a top, right? Yeah, I'm not saying this is a 100%. 
Although it looks like it. Yeah, I see some rust pitting, but it cleaned it right up. I see some rust pitting on the outsides of it. But yeah, it looks good, guys. So I think we're going to be golden. All right, man. Is the head ready to go on? Yes, sir. I reinstalled the engine cover. I installed the pull cord correctly, and the engine turns over, which is incredible. So the original carburetor is pretty smoked. It's bad. So we are going to upgrade with this Tillotson TCT carburetor from gopowersports.com. This is a, an excellent factory replacement carburetor because it is very easily tunable. All the adjustment screws, like your idle speed and fuel mixture, are right there on the top. It's a piece of cake to adjust, and it should go right on uh, this 196 clone. We're also gonna use a clutch from gopowersports.com, along with some chain, and probably a cable if we can't get this one working. So if you need any parts for your Baja Warrior, your Coleman CT200, or your uh, Trailmaster MB200, all your common and uncommon mini bike parts uh, can be found at gopowersports.com. And anytime you place an order with them, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you. So it turns out this twist grip on this bike is broken. Check that out. Look at that carnage. Uh, lucky for us, Go Power Sports sent us new parts, and it looks like an exact match for what we have here, so it ought to be a snap to put together. Sweet. So we have a factory style throttle linkage here. And to replace the throttle cable, you take a Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter um, wrench, and undo the screw on the barrel nut. like so. So that's kind of nifty, that adjustment there. We have our new one here. And uh, just well, the new one isn't going to quite, is it going to fit in there? In this whole thing? Yeah. Mm. Oh man, it'd be so cool if it did. Now, so this new one. Well, that's a Makuni style cable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we either fit in the barrel nut. over uh, drill out the barrel nut. Yeah, we need to drill it out. Or we cut the end off of that uh, cable. Cut. Yeah, the problem with cutting the ends off is you tend to fray the cables. Yep. We are getting so close here. We had a, a fuel tank from a Tillotson 212 laying around. We had to rob a stage one air filter off of a, another mini bike we had that's not being used and uh, we're just going to install the fuel tank we have the chain hooked up the chain tensioner oh it looks crooked a uh, new clutch on there literally all that's left is fuel tank oh man 20 dollar mini bike man a uh, moment of truth dude sure hmm. all right that's on start all right here we go <laughs> Need to idle it up a little bit. Yeah. Is it gonna idle? Not even close. I think we're, uh, I think it's a comp compression issue. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. As bad as it was rusted. Might have some stuck rings. Might have some stuck rings. That's why we need to stop running it now so we can get our lap in. Yeah. Because I have a feeling the more we run it, the less compression we're gonna have. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. 
catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. We're about to load the bike up on the truck and take it out for a ride at Ike's place, but we need to make sure it still runs, right? Yeah. What do you think, bud? Uh-oh. Oh, oh it, it's dead. <laughs> $20 mini bike, man. $20 mini bike. What do you say? Go out and get you a Tillotson 212, 225, <laughs> or a uh, Predator 212. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I think we can fix it, though. Yeah, we just need to put some new rings in it, some right? Some new rings, and that ought to fix it. So, uh... Like, fix everything? Yeah. Like, no smoke? I mean, depending on the cylinder walls um possibly no smoke wow so uh you know maybe that can be a future vid uh just you know we've got a blown up 212 somewhere yeah i know just throw the rings in there if, if the ring if the piston's the same diameter yeah yeah we can take the rings off of it or swap out the whole piston mm -hmm. i say we put some new piston rings in this thing like you mentioned ike and we see if it fixes our problems. But thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Be sure to subscribe to Cars and Cameras to catch uh, the follow-up video to our $20 Crusher mini bike build. Um, yeah, uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. Visit our website, cars-cameras.com to pick up one of our Send It, Bend It, Mend It hats to help support uh, us and our future episodes. Check Ike here out at Isaac It'll Be Fine on YouTube and Instagram. Check me out on Instagram at John underscore Cars and Cameras uh, for sneak peeks on what we're kind of up to and uh, Facebook at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Thanks for watching again, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Is there any oil in it? I don't think there's any oil in it. You know, if oil floats on the top, I think this thing sat in the rain so long that all the oil did come out of the top. You gotta be joking. We finally picked up a motorcycle lift, so. Luxury. Yeah. We should probably address the sink and the coffin in the background there, man. What's that? Well, sometimes he gets thirsty. Most he needs to brush his teeth. Most people don't have a sink and a coffin in their garage. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I was thinking Halloween's coming up. A go kart made from a coffin? Yeah. And so you actually bought that coffin second hand, didn't you? Yes. Uh, slightly used, um, but I got a good discount on it. <laughs> and the sink. Well, the sink's from your house. Yeah, it's from my dad's house. Yeah, <laughs> I was planning on putting a sink in here.